What's up, everybody? John Hoover from the Franchise Drive, and this is the Short Drive, my lightning-fast recap of tonight's show. Dallas Cowboys report to training camp. The Cowboys are missing running back Ezekiel Elliott, but owner Jerry Jones says, quote, that doesn't flare me. I'm not sure what that means. I've never heard that before. But either way, it seems that Jerry Jones is not bothered by Ezekiel Elliott's absence. Russell Westbrook was introduced as a member of the Houston Rockets today, and other than an absolutely disgraceful social media campaign, reunited, reunited, are you kidding me? Russ said at the press conference that he's going to be an asset for the Houston Rockets, getting to the basket, switching on defense, and rebounding. Either way, Russ says he'll, quote, fit right in. We'll see. We went over the sporting news list of the top 40 college football players of 2019, and we have three in Oklahoma, Tylen Wallace, Jalen Hurts, and C.D. Lamb. Also, Mason Fine from North Texas. Then we discussed my story that I wrote for Sporting News this week from Big 12 Media Days, where I actually chatted with all 10 Big 12 head football coaches about the right way and the wrong way to go about building a lasting football culture. You can find that story at thefranchiseok.com. Just click the Hoover tab at the top. Top of the second hour, so back to Cowboys camp for a second. Ezekiel Elliott's statistics exploded last year after Amari Cooper arrived. It was clear that those two guys work well together. So both are a priority. We'll leave it to Jerry Jones to figure it out. Up in Cleveland, Baker Mayfield told us the biggest lesson he learned in college. Don't run from the cops. And we debated the best NFL quarterbacks to come out of traditional college basketball schools. Our preliminary answers were Drew Brees and Donovan McNabb. Caesars Palace released next year's NBA win totals, and five teams in the West, Rockets, Nuggets, Lakers, Clippers, and Jazz, all came in over 50 wins. Your Oklahoma City Thunder, 28 wins. And speaking of betting futures, Bet Online released its college football playoff odds today. Clemson and Alabama were the obvious overwhelming favorites. Uh, the third place team, though, might surprise you. Georgia at 45%. And the team with the fourth best odds probably will surprise you quite a bit. It's Michigan at 31%. Tied for fifth and out of the college football playoff picture, Ohio State at 28.2% and the Oklahoma Sooners at 28.2%. Well, that's it for tonight's short drive. If you want to be part of the show, listen on the radio, FM 107.7 in Oklahoma City, 107.9 the franchise in Tulsa, AM 1270 in Tulsa. Also streaming live 24-7 at thefranchiseok.com or take us with you wherever you go on the free franchise app. See you guys.